a trunk part of the kitchen and replace that. I'm not mine. Uh, disposal. Disposal, and I gotta run some um, another. I forgot to run power to the uh, uh, for the lighting for the cabinets. Okay. On that side, which I may or may not do right now. I might do it before the night. Nice. How much? How much work do you have to do on your computer, Robbie? Uh, well, if, if you want to go home, take it. That's fine. If you'd like to just do it in the back house. Nobody's back there. Nobody's back there. You'll be totally quiet. Then you can join us for dinner later if you want. It's easier for us to grab it now. It's all good. Off the freeway, okay. Okay. Um. Take it. Take it with some kids from class. I'm not sure when it's gonna happen. Okay. That's kind of nice. You can do it all as a yeah, as a team. So, yeah. For
water in this because this is this you're gonna drink. You can drink that. Near the farm. Yeah. yeah. That would have been a good place to uh, invest if we had the cash. watching these guys like oh you know you don't need to impeach him we need to work for unity i'm like bro you guys just like lied about <laughs> you, you did everything you could to not have unity and now you you're losing sight of it now you want unity well it, and I, like, I, i've I, never just, seen that much bold-faced hypocrisy and that's what i've seen a lot yeah, of hypocrisy it happens to every, it happens to yeah but this one like they just had an incursion on the capital this is the worst that's, ever right that, that's the only thing i mean that's the thing it's like with, with Obama, it's in the constitution To stop and to ununify stop everything. Bomb, stop bomb. Yeah. Right. And then, of course, when Trump becomes president, it's the Democrats are uh, obfuscating. Yeah. Like You're right. I, You're right. And I get that. I get that. But Ted Cruz calling for unity right now, after he just objected to certifying like Biden's electors, after there was just an invasion of the Capitol, and he like, I'm not saying. Even McConnell, like at least McConnell didn't object the certification. Not that he didn't have his absolute problems. Uh, okay, he makes a run three. And it's, I think, in politicians, we just we despise them so much. And, and then, you know, after they do one good deed, it's like, oh, well, maybe, maybe they're you're not okay. That bad. Maybe not that you bad. Know, look, at, like, look at Bush. President Bush was, if you really look at it, it's like, he was a war, he was a war for us. Hey. Every, yeah. And horrible. Now it's like, It got worse. Because it got worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. The bar keeps getting lower and lower. Yeah, I mean, he made... Oh, shit. I guess we could have just done this. He made up a war. He invented a war. Absolutely horrible. The only thing worse than that is egging on a bunch of traitors to go invade the capital. It's the only thing worse than starting a war over oil in Iraq. And the thing with Bush is I feel like a lot of his was largely he's just fucking incompetent. He wasn't malicious. You know, so Dick Cheney was a little malicious, but yeah. Breathe, honey, breathe. I know you're tired. I know. Breathe, sweetie. I know. You know how a deaf, you know how a deaf guy called just talks to his patients? How? Read slips. Ooh. I figured there's somewhere. Not a dad joke. What's that? Not a dad joke. A dad joke among other dads. Schwarzenegger has a big one. Donald Trump has a little one. 
And Madonna has none. What about it? What is it? What is it that...